Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards, hour two of what we call your radio home for all things home garden and life improvement. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday, and as you're uh, driving around, maybe looking at things that you want to do to improve the spaces you call home, this is where you can get really what I think are some great ideas, uh, some techniques, some trends, and some fun things to just make, whether it's an apartment or a condo or a house, whatever you call home, just a little more you and uh, hopefully a lot more fun. And today, we include into that uh, definition a lot more energy efficiency. Efficient, uh, as we're going to be talking very soon with a couple of families who have really done it up in style in terms of uh, being smart. And, you know, we all hear about going green and, and saving on our light bulbs and trying to cut back on water use and having smarter appliances and on and on. But uh, we're going to talk with a couple of different uh, uh, households who have uh, taken to the next step and are really seeing um, some improvements on their utility bills. What did it cost? Uh, well, they won a contest, so that didn't cost them too much. But what could it cost you? And and what can we learn from these folks and how are they not only feeling like they're they're doing the right thing in terms of the environment, but they're feeling healthier, too, in terms of the air quality uh, that they have. And then later on, uh, I'm sure this must happen to you. Whenever I watch a TV show or a movie, um, you see that home or you see the kitchen or you see the bedroom. and You go, ooh, I wish I could live there. That's so cool. Or what about that? What is that decoration all about? And does it inspire you to maybe um, try to have that kind of look in your home? Or maybe does it just make you wonder, well, how did those, those people in Hollywood come up with that anyway? Way. We're going to find out, talk with a very talented uh, production designer who's worked on everything from homes to the homes that we see in uh, La La Land and on Hollywood, uh, on uh, Hollywood TV and, and film. And, uh, and learn uh, how she finds, very true to the period, the, the styles and the designs and everything. And so I can't wait to, to talk to her as well. So keep the number handy. It is 888-539-2980. 888-539-2980. And remember, too, that as uh, you're uh, driving around or as you're working in the yard or whatever you're doing today, uh, you can go back and listen again. You just go to the website, cindydole.com, and uh, you can go back and hear it again. And you can even download things. And by the way, if you haven't yet, you can uh, download the free app uh, that's right there for your iPhone or your Android, just right there on the front of the website. Uh, just wave your phone uh, in front of the barcode at cindydole.com. So let's get to it. Uh, it is another hot weekend, and uh, as we're cranking up the AC, how much of that cooled air do you think may be leaking out of your home, and, and how is your utility bill in comparison uh, to your neighbor's? All right, well, those are a couple of questions that the Kinsley family, uh, I guess, really struggled with. Uh, they live in a home, kind of like me. It's an older home, 1950s-ish home. Uh, and uh, they knew that their utility bills were looking kind of expensive. And then you add to the picture that, uh, if not one, all of the sons have asthma. And uh, so then you start to say, well, what's going on with this home? Is it a healthy home? Is it energy efficient? And so, uh, so pleased to have the entire Kinsley family here. We have Steve and Colleen, the mom and dad. Say hi, everybody. Hello, hi everybody. Hi. And then we also have the three boys, uh, Keegan, Connor, and Caden. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys sing too? Yes. Actually, oh, you do. Ask them. <laughs> don't get no. <laughs> okay, great. That sounds fun. Well, anyway, we'll get to that a little bit later. Maybe you can do our, our music a break to the to this commercial. But so t set us uh, just to the beginning. Here you are in this 1956-ish home. I want to say Whittier, right? Is that right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what was going on with your home? What what were the utility bills like? Oh yeah. Always, You've lived there for how uh, long? For I think a, we ten years. About. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. So you knew going into it that it was an older home. Well, yes, and I knew we had issues. I didn't know they were that bad, but yeah. I knew we had issues. Issues like? I knew there was no insulation inside our walls, exterior walls, because uh, I'm a fairly good carpenter doing some work on a nice... I, I just told my wife, there's nothing in here. You could run anything through here. Uh -huh. And also the windows were the old single-pane crank-out. Uh-huh. Typical of that period, yeah. So, I, whoever thought that was great. Yeah, I know. And so, Colleen, you're shaking your head. I mean, I, I guess it was, you know, you move in, it's a great house, but then over time, uh, or and certainly over the past five, ten years, you're starting to hear this whole energy, gosh, maybe we should save on things, and now even more so than ever, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I had 
we had but the first thing I said is we need new windows. That was my first comment nine or ten years ago. Which are expensive. Yes. And we, we had every intention. It's just that we also thought we'd kind of add on or renovate. So we wanted to sort of not go backwards and, you know, come back around. So that was a lot of the reason we didn't sort of jump in and take care of it at that time. And years pass on, and then here you are. But, yeah, absolutely, and the dust coming. And it was, you know, with those windows and the the never running the air because it wasn't worth it. I could run the air all day, and you'd barely feel it if we did. Really? So, oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. how much were, what was your utility bill, typically, your electric bill every month? Uh, you can 600 say $600. Minimum. For a five-person family. Yeah, and we're pretty conservative. It's that's, just, I've, it's, been, I've heard of worse for yeah. you know smaller families, but that's I know that's a lot of money. Well, that's, you know. Chunk after every month. I've had as high as 1000 over 1000 wow. that, But that was before the changes, right? Yes. It's, okay. It, yeah, no, things are changing. Things are changing. All right. So we're going to get to those changes in a minute, but then I also want to talk to Keegan. Now, Keegan, you have asthma, or you did have asthma, or some kind of a breathing uh, issue? A little bit yeah. when I was younger, Wait, yeah. Okay, so now you've grown out of it. Mm -hmm. But did you, did you notice that the air in the house was stuffy or... Um, causing problems, yeah? Yeah, getting in there, I definitely felt after a while just the amount of dust in my room and just seeing dust everywhere. And uh, it, you definitely, especially during the, the summer when it gets hotter, you definitely start getting that choked up feeling in your room where just the air feels stagnant and it just Ooh. gets kind of muggy. Uh -huh. And it's really awful. Did it give you allergies too? Uh, I got allergies too. And that's yeah. the, yeah. Cage, the one that's really suffering. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And he still does. Yeah, so so you could feel that from whenever the air conditioning or the heating was on too, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of yeah. kicked it up a little. Yeah, it's rather than the hopes of trying to cool it off and get it out, it just kicked it up and just made it uh, worse, if anything. Uh, but hopefully you're a little bit better now. You've grown out of it, but also yeah, the house is better. The house has definitely gotten better, and so okay. and we're just hoping just for more and more improvement as time goes. All right, so that takes us to what happened, and, and there's this thing called the, the Energy Upgrade Program, which we've talked about a lot on the show. It's put together with the state, and it offers all kinds of incentives to all of us to, to make some changes. You first have to pay for um, an assessment or an audit, as they call it, to see where you stand right now. And then you have the choice to start getting some money back uh, in the thousands to money, many thousands back, depending on how many things that you do to upgrade. Well, but uh, for the Kinsleys, they were lucky because they won... Their upgrade. Yes? Yes, we were. $10,000 worth of upgrade? Awesome. Well, that's what we're, I think that's what we had to claim is, is it, on our taxes. 10000 Yes. But I think it's I, Are you whispering because the IRS might be listening? Possibly. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never lost an audit. We'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, so we love the IRS. <laughs> no, that's, that's part of doing business. But seriously, so you decided, you heard about this program and that mm -hmm. said, you know, we want to do something, but wouldn't it be neat if someone else paid for it, right? American way. Yeah. And how did you get selected? Um, I, I'm going to say it came through the bill or the internet or whatever. Right. I was working. I'm looking at it. And I'm. they want to see your bills. And I thought, oh, boy, I'll send them my bills. And I just researched it, looked at it. I knew kind of the slant they were looking at. And I thought, boy, I'd fit right in there. And I got 12 months of my gas bills, my water bills, my electric bills, and sent them in. Like I say, I think, oh, geez, my electric alone was almost pushing eight grand for the year. And that's a lot. And that's what prompted, I think it started, there was thousands of entrants. Then it got down to the top 500, and we were notified. And so I thought, those, oh, those people with the worst utility bills are, are more likely to I, I win. Know, <laughs> you know, no, I think, I think what, what they're looking at, they wanted a nice cross-section uh -huh. of the population. Sure. And they also wanted who could you improve, not dollar amounts, but maybe percentages. When they did that audit, which was a great audit, I mean, they were up there all day. They sealed the house up completely. They did a great job on that audit. And when they came back and they said, well, 40 to 60% of our energy is just gone. It's going out yeah. the door. It's, out we're paying door. for nothing. We're yeah. wasting We're wasting resources, wasting energy. We're not improving any of the And here, it wasn't like you were trying to be foolish. You were trying to do the right thing. You're probably closing the windows Absolutely. and doing, you know, turning the lights off. Oh, well, I would seal up the house and put the air on. I mean, boys I did everything are real, we could. Yeah, the yeah. school's real good. The boys can You had the thermostat the, at a, yes. you know, maybe change seven. the faucets out to But that, it still but, was 60% yeah. of it all going out the window. That's terrible. And I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, they just call it like leakage and it's, wow, amazing. Mm. You know, floors and the walls. Which was kind of, you know, depressing, but then I thought, well, that, I told my wife, that's probably going to give us a shot because they're going to find a home. <laughs> You're like, yes, yes. Well, they're gonna we've find got a bad home bills. That they can come back and they're going to get a 25% yeah. improvement. 
minimum. All and right. I'm, well, and I can right. already tell. Who well, we we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to learn more about what you did and also talk with this uh, this other homeowner who did some smart things, uh, living just with her dogs and, and wanting to be green and, and more energy efficient. And, and we all can do this. We may not all be able to get it for free, but we certainly can get some money back uh, through this program known as uh, the State's Energy Upgrade Program. We'll tell you about the website in a second. And I can't wait to hear more of the improvements that happen to these folks' homes, can't you? Uh, the number, by the way, if you have a question on this is 888-539-2980. I'm Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards. We're back after this. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. Oh, it's easy being green. We can do this, right? Cindy Dole, Home Wizards. Every Saturday, 2 to 4, we try to help you make it easy, no matter what it is to enjoy those spaces you call home. So, you know, the Kinsley family, boy, the more that we're hearing about this home of theirs, there's a 1956 home, uh, Stephen Colleen and their sons, Keegan, Connor, and Caden. Uh, all live in this house that's uh, in Whittier. Great house, but boy. So you were just saying, Steve, the, the energy audit found what else was going wrong. All the, you know, the cool air was going out the windows. But what else with the chimney? Yeah, well, the fireplaces had no flu, so automatic, of course, heat rises. Everything gets sucked up in there. We have no insulation or barrier on the bottom of the house because we have a raised foundation. We'll never even think about that. Well, yeah. that dirt and stuff, everything just gets sucked up. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, it was bad in our attic. It was, you know. And then how about the air ducts in terms of making the air better for the, the boys in terms of the asthma thing? What happened? They're ter- they're going to replace them all. They're going to? Yes. Yeah. We haven't gotten, uh, I know uh, Lisa's going to be on. She's further down the process than we are. But, uh, no, it, we had SoCal Remodelings do, did the insulation on the walls. I can't, like my wife said, we can use air conditioning now and actually can get the place down to 75 degrees. And this mm. last week really proved it because I'm, it was it's so been extremely hot. hot. Oh, and, like, and humid. It, we very rarely use it, but boy, it was amazing difference. Just it would keep the cool in and it never did before. Uh-huh. So yeah. Just, and so, uh, so Keegan, you're, you're feeling it. All you guys are feeling it that it's... Oh, definitely. It's I, a better... I mean, the worst thing is is when it's like 83 degrees you know, at about 8.30 and you try to go to bed and your room is 80 degrees and you can't sleep in that. But mm-hmm. this week, though, it's actually actually stayed cool and it's it's wonderful it's mm-hmm. amazing yeah. i can't wait for more to happen yeah so well luckily you guys are getting this as a gift from the energy upgrade folks um because you won this contest that's going on uh, but if you didn't win would you still have done something different i mean the energy audit i guess costs about maybe oh. a grand to it, do it, this it's it's you know it's it, it's not it's it's an investment really if i look at what my energy bills are going to drop to and if i amortize that out uh-huh. even over five years I, it's actually paying me to do the right thing mm-hmm. because I'm just waste. It's so inefficient. Now with the efficiency comes savings. And so you guys are going to stay in the house for a little while longer, you think? Uh, uh, probably is... maybe till I'm 90. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have a great neighborhood, though. Whittier is just, it's yeah. just a great place to raise kids. We have a great school there. Great neighbors. You know, because a lot of people, I think, they want to do, you know, the right thing, and they want to definitely see the utility bills go down. But with all the options of, I mean, hey, this is this is the height of outdoor living season. Why not do something great to your yard, your patio? And then you're thinking, gosh, I'm going to spend, you know, five grand, ten grand to insulate the house. Boring. I'm not going to see it and enjoy it. But I guess you really, you do in, you know, in other ways. Quality of living. You yeah. know, like I say, we do have asthma, asthma in the family, unfortunately, on my yeah. side and my wife's. And obviously, uh, our middle son got the the brunt of it. Uh-huh. But the air quality, just being comfortable and knowing uh, it, that's that's a dollar amount instead of blowing it on something. Here's something that'll pay us every single day. I, yeah, I had no idea until the audit that the dust, like he said, underneath, that it was being sucked up. I mean, mm-hmm. the dust, and it's like I never cleaned. The dust is terrible, and that's yeah. what triggers him most, more than anything. So um, they were guaranteeing that this should help so much alleviate.